have to say, there's been a lot of meteorology buzz over last week's premiere of the weather shirt. Meteorologists everywhere talking about it. And we've got it for you, ICTV viewers. 15% more weather. Well, I have more good news. We're going to keep the ball rolling by introducing another brand new weather technology. I was up all night trying to think of ways to make weather simpler. It's too complicated, people are always telling me. The convoluted weather maps, the big numbers, the intricate cloud formations, pressure systems, Fahrenheit's, weather shirts. It's too much to keep track of at one time. Here's our solution. Introducing this week tonight's bad weather security advisory system. Pay attention, this is for bad weather safety. Now I always thought it was strange that some parts of the country don't have to be concerned about bad weather. Rain, snow, too cold, too hot. What if it's not going to rain that night in Nebraska? You guys should be concerned too. So we've developed a color code for the entire nation. See, look how simple this is. I take in all the weather news and simplify it for you. So you don't have to be worried about gathering all these different sources. It's just one. Here's how the bad weather threat levels break down. <coughs> kind of gray, that means a low risk, risk of bad weather. Light gray, general risk of bad weather. Gray, significant risk of bad weather. Dark gray, high risk of bad weather. Black, bad weather. And now it's time for a weather check with our favorite weatherman, Kyle Bosman. Rob, um, does it look like my arms are growing out of my pockets? A little bit, yeah. Cool. Uh, so, uh, Kyle, what's the bad weather threat for next week? Um, it looks like it'll be light gray. What does, uh, what does that mean? Moderate chance of bad weather. Oh. Uh, what's the color for good weather? There is none. <laughs>